Hi, Tony from Farm Koi. Well, today I am off to New Forest Koi to see Rick, and uh, Rick is going to very kindly um, hand pick some fish for me to go in the pond. Um, as I don't know, partially as testers, but I'm um, keeping my fingers crossed that I don't lose any because I. Um, I think it's passed now and I'm um, everything seems okay and uh, partly for grow on purposes um, through the winter I'm gonna actually keep the pond temperature up until Christmas um, <laughs> it's at 26 at the moment I don't know what it's costing me but I'm gonna keep the temperature up until Christmas and see how things are then and I will lower the temperature for January February and March um, slowly to, to um, 18 degrees if I find that's just too much to to bear over those three months then um, I shall go down to 12 but um, see how it goes so, I'll see you at New Forest Koi. Bye for now. Well, here we are again at my favourite place. And, uh, yeah, there's some nice people here as well. So we're uh, going to have a look. Never walked by this front pond. Some lovely fish in there. That great big shark. Shiro's are looking nice. They're all looking nice. Aha, here we are. Here's Rick. How are you doing? Hmm? Oh, yes, please. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I've literally just got back up with them for you. All right. Wow. No one's had fish like that. This is what Rick has sorted out for me. And there's some beautiful little fish in there. So I'm going to have to split them into two lots initially and bring them on a little bit in my, in my aquarium tanks. I don't want them being sucked up by the bottom drain. Beautiful. There's a sagi, a chiba, um, aragoki. Some really nice fish in there. Please with that, very kind. Just got to pay the piper when he lets me know how much they are. Settle down. Yeah. Oh, just look at the <coughs> aragoki. So you're the first customer to get any of these Gimrinch series, am I? Well, apart from Vince has had a chaffed a few. Yeah, I <laughs> see that. Yeah. Oh, they're gorgeous. And so, is that a, an Aragoki yeah, Ogon then? It's an Aragoki Yamabuki. Yamabuki, yeah. Oh, 
That's it. Want to see them? Get it's come big. on, come on, really, that's pretty cool. It does look like a shiro, but it's not. Yeah. We've got a Deutz Goshki there. And not one of them have gone off the farm yet. Those scales are so bright, aren't they? Beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, perfect alignment as well, isn't there? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to split them into two and uh, put half in one tank and half in the other and bring them on a bit before I um, release them in the pond, which probably isn't a bad thing anyway. Now, you might find that you, once you've grown them out for a bit, there's, there's some you don't want to keep. Oh, I'm sure there is. But yeah, this is a sibling of the one you grew yeah. last year. Yeah, and that was, that was... Oh, I was so mad. <sighs> Nobody to blame but me, though, because I got slack over quarantine, so, you know. So nice. That's a beautiful achievement there. And then I got the Aragoki style one there as well. Somewhere. Yeah, lovely. Pleased. Such a nice man like. Film there, you don't film anymore, do you? No, no. Well, Vincent, I've just bought that uh, yellow and white fish there. <laughs> there you go. I know how to wind him up, don't I? Yeah. Special. Uh, bless him. Gorgeous fish. It's got a nice fish in there, isn't it? Yeah, it stands out. Yeah. So it's just a fish every day. So it's sort of locked in. Yeah. The Mega Munga Tunnel. I'm, I'm just going down to... Um, Dave and Vince's pond to see what I can steal. <laughs> Vince, Dave said I could help myself. <laughs> oh, look at them. Have they always go round in one way? Uh, well, they normally start as like a Toes like spins and they tend to just go around following the leader. So, do they ever go the other way? They do go around both ways, yeah. 
I thought maybe it was a bit like when water goes down a, down a drain, it always goes in one direction, doesn't it? They're fantastic. Well, look at all them chilies over there. Cut them down for you, the sides are just the leaves. You've got any, oh yeah, you've got some that's like thin over there. Yours in here, your kajaki. I checked my little kajakis in here with the older ones. That one's a nice one. With that diagonal pattern on its head. And that one's a nice one with a buttony nose and then... Well, I'll get a 12, 12 and then I'll get a mountain to two. So you were saying this pond here is going on 40 watts. Yeah. There's 50 fish in there. Actually, my pond is going quite well cheap. Very cheap, boys, except for the air source heat pump, actually. Because it's simply turned the shower off. UV's been off because of treatments. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what else I've turned off. Ooh. That's a, that's a lovely fish, not quite as good as the one that one we put in the other. There's some lovely fish in there then. They're all lovely if you can keep them alive. <laughs> well, you can't make it me. Oh dear. No, I can keep them alive. I've still got that one that I've had for 30 odd years. Tough as boots that one is. We need to get this plant out of water pressure now. I've dropped my chilies out to change the, change the plant to water pressure within that. Ah! I thought that. I cut my tomatoes all down. The water's so much better. When the plants are growing, the water's so much better. Yeah. Yeah, 40 watts to run that since this whole setup. So has it just got one pump? One yeah, little three pounds in pump. And, and so that's pumping out that clover leaf. Yeah, that and then through the bottom drain into the clover leaf. Then into his eric thing. From, yeah. from the eric and it's feeding in this. Yeah. So there's a lot of filtration on the little pond. So, so has the eric got to all the gap now? Yeah, they just need to put those gap mats in there. Well Rick's going to fold them up any minute for me to have a choice of the ones I want to steal. <laughs> uh, Lovely. Yeah. Do you want a tea? Sorry? Do you want another cup of tea? Yeah, I'll have another, yeah, that'd be nice, thank you. I love coming here. Right, we can try and twist Sean and Ricky's arm um, for a volunteer on the days that uh, Vince and Dave aren't here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Leave Vince and Dave to it. It's their domain. And good luck. They work hard. So I'm just back from uh, New Forest Koi and I have to say a big, big thank you 
to Rick um, in particular, but uh, Carl and Sean as well. And uh, yeah, uh, Rick has sorted me out some beautiful little fish and um, I've just got to get them settled into well, one of the aquariums perhaps for now, but um, I'm going to split them into the two uh, when I've got more time tomorrow. But uh, I'll turn you around and show you. So this is them in the bag. Um, I can't lift it enough to show you them like that, but I will ooh, get them out the bag and... Um, show you them but you've already seen them at uh, new forest anyway but before i put them in the uh, aquarium i thought i'd give you another another look i think they are something a bit special myself look at that look at those Ginrin Shishui. They are lovely. But I've got to get them a bit bigger before they can go in the pond. Otherwise they'll end up going up the bottom drain. So I've just switched my aquariums back on. Uh, and uh, I think I got to give them the one that was, because they've been at a standstill, only since yesterday, to be honest, but um, the water that was sitting in them needs freshening up. So they'll be all right in there for a little while. I'll get back to you in a minute. Okay, you're going to have to excuse my camera work on this, but they're all going to go in the one aquarium for tonight, because that one is disgusting, and I'm going to sort it out. Um, this one has just had a water change and a siphon off the bottom, so there's lots of bits in the water. But uh, the filter's clean, and and the water temperature isn't uh, too bad. So I'm gonna put them all in there. So as I say, you'll have to excuse my, my camera skills, but we'll have a little look at them. Right, this one is a Ginrin Achiever, I think. Very nice. That one. Again. Here. We've got um, a normal scaled Achiever. Lovely, got a nice pattern across its back. So now, where do we go to from here? Light in my greenhouse isn't that good at the moment. Here, again, I think that's another achiever sort of crossed with a um, a sagi ginrin. I'm sure Rick will correct me if I'm wrong.
Ähm Hier. We got a very nice shishui. A lovely row of scales. But right across its spine, right from the back of the head, right to the tail. And just here, we got a Ginrin Shishui, or at least the large scales each side of the dorsal are Ginrin, and it's a Shishui. Beautiful. Just imagine them when they get big. I'm not counting them now, never mind. Rick tells me there's 20 there, so I'm sure there's 20 there. I'm, sh I'm not sure, was that a Ginrin Shishui I just put in? Because... Oh, wait a minute. I appear to have another one. Um, if Rick don't put me right, I'm sure Vince will. Uh, God, I've forgotten what that's called now. But never mind, I'll get to that. I, I've got a Sankey. before I go to it. I have got what looks like to me what Rick gave me some time ago and it grew really lovely and I haven't lost it but it's a Ginrin cross between an Ochiba and a Karashi Goy I think but it's a lovely fish turned into what I would have called my golden corn, but now what else have we got? I think this is one of Rick's Darker achievers. Um, crossed with a oh, oh, okay, getting the net crossed with the Boschki, was it? Not sure. And then we've got a Deutz. Hmm. Is that a Kiki Shui? Not sure, can't remember. I've got a terrible brain. But when you jump in the net, I can both do it. And then... Right, we've got... an Asagi. Nice little Asagi. one's rather beautiful. Yeah. Um, 
Now, I thought that was a little bit far wacky, but I think Rick, Rick said that's another a, a Chiba with just different colouring, a Deutz a Chiba, but I don't know. It's going to be a very nice anyway. We got a a Ginrin Yamabuki, I think. Looks rather lovely. Again, the scales are very you know, Ginrin all over, um, and it looks a bit. Speckly. I mean, to me, that could even be a, a golden corn, but it's a Yamabuki, Ginrin Yamabuki. And we have an Aragoki Yamabuki. Lovely. Lovely. like that a lot. Yeah. Oh. Now I'm getting to sort of some here now that I've not got a clue really. I think this, not you lot, I'm not usually keen to get them in there. Um, I think this is a, um, a Ginrin. Chagoy and uh, it's lovely, like it. Very nice. Now, here we've got a Ginrin. Asagi. That looks a pretty fish. Oh, strike out, but it is. Now, the scales on this. Or something else now Arago key it's um got like a sagi underbelly up to the lucky line so I don't know whether it's a an Arago key Asagi or an Arago key and Chiba or something else but it's beautiful but look at those scales look at the scales on the side fantastic so damn right that leaves me with two lovely fish over here and Rick did tell me what this was it's a well known point of toy and I've forgotten what it is um, It's not a Shiro, um, but it's, um, no, it's one of the names I can never remember, but I know what it is. But it's beautiful, look at that, look at the Sumi on it. That will be gorgeous. Oh, it's got red underside on the 
on the bobby. And the last one has got superb scaling down each side of the dorsal and well right from the head right down to the tail. Really good good looking fish. And they an orange underbody. I don't know. Is it another form of a of a sagi or is it a form of a chiba or is it a mix between the two? Has it got shishui in it? I don't know what what it is, but it's beautiful. And that will make a cracking fish as it gets bigger. So that's all of them. That one didn't want to get out of the net. So I'll get back to you in a sec. So there they are in their temporary home. Well, there's 20 of them, so it's going to be temporary for 10 of them anyway. I'm going to split them into two lots when I've got more time to deal with it tomorrow, but they'll be quite happy in there for this evening. Lovely. I'm really ch tickled pink, absolutely tickled pink with them. I just got to get them a bit bigger before they can go in the main pond, which is probably a good thing anyway. I've got um, all the uh, grow and show with a difference in there now. Um, and they're big enough that they won't go up the bottom drain. So that's good. But they're basically thriving in there. You could call them tester fish, I suppose. But these are so nice, I don't want these to be particularly tester fish. I want these to uh, thrive. Well, I want, <laughs> I want the drone show ones to thrive as well. Look at that. Look at this one over here. Look at this one. Again, Rick, I can't thank you enough. And everybody at New Forest Koi, can't thank them enough. They're lovely people. Absolutely thrilled to bits with them. Oh, got to get the other box out yet. The ones I stole out of Vince's and um, Dave's pond as well. So uh, they are big enough to go in the main pond. Yeah. Only kidding, Vince, Dave. Dave's such a nice boat. He said, Tony, you can have some. Yeah, you can have some. I don't think he'd uh, actually referred to Vince about that decision. <laughs> but knowing Vince, he's such a nice natured chap, he'd be the same. Yeah. Gorgeous. 
Oh, might stay in here tonight. Yeah, wonderful. Well, that's it for my visit today to New Forest Toy. Always enjoy it. Rick said, see you in the spring, but no, I think I'll be down there again before then. Really enjoyed it. And Rick spent so much time with me. Um, I feel guilty about that, actually. Uh, but he did deal with a couple of other customers while I was there as well. Um, but uh, yeah, he spent a lot of time with me and thank you so much from Carl and Sean and uh, yeah, yeah, so I'm looking forward to moving on and um, Vince, I'll contact you because uh, I don't know whether you're going to be at home next Tuesday. Oh, watch out how you say that, won't you? Um, because, well, because I'd like to come and visit you and I'd like to see your pond build thus far. I promise not to get in the way. <laughs> so, yeah. Big shout out for New Forest Koi. And a big shout out for Vince, the twisted one, and a big shout out for Dave, aka a rocket boy. Lovely people. So that's it. If you enjoy this content, it would be lovely if you were to subscribe, um, hit the like, thumb, thumbs up, and um, please feel free to comment and uh, share yeah all that you can do all those things and it costs you nothing <laughs> except you'll keep getting uh, reminders when i load stuff that's the only downside but there you go thank you all very very much and for this one it's bye 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 for now